Hey guys, here are my tried and true systems that I use to run my bookkeeping business successfully. So I'm going to talk about my systems for planning and then my systems for getting new clients and then onboarding clients. And then I'm going to go through kind of like a week in my life and let you know like what technology I'm using to help my bookkeeping business. My first tip for really good planning within your business is to make it visual. So one way you can do this is to color code things. The last few years, I've really realized that I am a very visual person. So when my brain is recalling things, I tend to think Think about like how it looked on a page or a computer. So this, for example, is a pretty typical week in my Google calendar. I put everything in here and then I turn things different colors. I don't do it super systematically, but maybe if something's super important, I'll turn it red so it catches my attention. Or if I'm like, oh yeah, the piano lesson was changed. Or sometimes I'm like, I remember something is on there tomorrow that's yellow. And then as I recall that, I'm like, oh yeah, the piano lesson was changed till tomorrow. And I definitely map out my work tasks within Gmail, within a Gmail calendar as well. I just find that this helps me stay really motivated and organized. And if you're not already doing this, definitely sync everything you can into your Google Calendar. So if you get an evite to something, there's a little button within evite that you can press that says add to your calendar, add that, and then it'll be on your calendar and it has all the information that you could just click on. Most of my kids' sports teams also have that feature. So usually there's like an app or something that all their schedule is in for sports. And then I can sync that to my Google Calendar. Same with school events. Maybe you already know this, but I just mentioned that I do that to someone and they were like, wow, I never knew you could do that. So that is a huge help if you are able to do that. Within my planner, I also use color to make it more fun and interactive for myself. So maybe I'll buy some cool pens that are different colors. And then I, you know, just as I'm writing things down, I use that visual interest to really help myself. And even on my computer, I use visual cues to help my brain find things faster. So I pretty much always change the icons of the folder. So I have like these four folders that live on my desktop and those are personal items, work items, photo video, and a to-do list. And then sometimes I have this videos in progress folder and that actually is usually contained within my work folder but sometimes I pull it out just so it's easier to access. And if you don't know how to change what these icons look like, on a PC, you just right click on the folder and then you go down to properties and then you go over to the tab called customize. And then at the bottom, you hit the button called change icon and you can browse through a whole bunch of different icons. Let me know in the comments if you do this also or if you're gonna start doing it. And if you don't know me, I am Morgan. My website is finepoints.biz. I'd love it if you subscribe to this channel for a new bookkeeper video each week. My my next tip for planning your life is to make it visual. So for the important information that you need to remember and access a lot, maybe you want to do a bulletin board or a little something on the wall, like a planning station. Maybe it has a calendar, a couple to-do lists, your goals for the year or for the month. I do this very regularly for my kids. I'll post them a little checklist and hang it up on the wall. So it's something that they see that's not getting like stuck in a drawer. You can also use electronics as your memory. So have Alexa set reminders for you. Maybe you just realized you just forgot that you have to call a client back, but you're doing something in a different part of the house. Say, Alexa, remind me to call this client at three o'clock. You can, of course, set phone alarms. We have our grocery shopping list on Alexa, so anyone in the family can add stuff to the grocery list. You can make different, any list that you would like in there too. My son has his birthday list on there that he can just tell her to add things to. So as much as you can, quit storing stuff in your brain and get it out on paper or as a reminder. This next Next thing I heard from Cass from her YouTube channel that's called Clutterbug, and she said, let your mess tell you where you need a system, where you know, you're know you going wrong and being disorganized. So maybe there's a bookkeeping task that you hate doing. Maybe you hate sending out invoices to your client because it always feels like it takes so long, it's so disorganized, you don't have a good system in place. So that's a clue to you to spend a little time and create a system for that area. All right, let's talk about some systems for finding new clients. A very common marketing system is a funnel. So some kind of sales funnel. And there's tons of different ways you can do this. I actually have a class that teaches you all about bookkeeper marketing. The link's in the description box. It's called Bookkeeper Marketing Coach. So if you are wanting to get some new bookkeeping clients, definitely check out that link. But just a basic overview of like a system for this. Let's talk about this funnel system using like some kind of social media. So maybe you have LinkedIn or Facebook or something and you are meeting a lot of people through that platform. Then you can create some kind of valuable content, maybe like a checklist or like a list of tax deductions 
connections. Something that teaches business owners something useful and uses your knowledge as a bookkeeper. So then they download this and you get their email address and then you're able to start emailing them more information. Maybe there's a call to action like you can set up a phone call with me or maybe you just continue to teach them more things that are gonna help their small business and then when they are ready to hire a bookkeeper, they think of you as a really smart and capable resource. So as kind of a bridge between the finding clients and then the onboarding clients, let's talk a little bit about templates that you can create as a bookkeeper. This is an amazing system because you're not recreating the wheel each time, right? You kind of have like your email template ready to go. So when you meet someone new, maybe you send them an email and you're like, oh, I really enjoyed meeting you at that networking event. Are you interested in meeting up later this week and getting us some coffee to talk more about your business? So that's an email template you can write for yourself and then just send it every time you need it. Other templates I use are my contract of employment that I send to people when they become a new client. Maybe there is a pricing list that you bring to an initial interview if they want to get an idea for your prices. Maybe there's an onboarding checklist that you go through with each new client. And I also have a template that I give to my new clients that tells them all the information that I am going to need from them, like all their business information. So having a system and a template for these type of things is really going to help you out. Next, let's talk about systems I use when onboarding a client. And this is specifically like some technology I'm going to use. It's really great to have some kind of calendar system that allows people to create either calls or in-person meetings with you. So the one that has been recommended to me. I actually haven't tried it out yet. It's called Tidy Calendar. And my friend was saying this is a really affordable option and has like similar bells and whistles to more expensive ones. So based on my research, you just pay once, you pay $29, and then you also use the app Sumo along with this. So that one's called Tidy Calendar. A very common one that other people use a lot is Calendarly, I think that's how you say it. For talking with clients online, Google Meet is a great one, as well as Zoom, of course. A great thing about being a bookkeeper is you can work with clients anywhere, like they don't have to be local to your area. Dropbox is another great option. I know a lot of people use, especially if you want to have extra storage or if you want to have clients sign things. I have a video where I used HelloSign. With HelloSign, at least when I made the video, they give you a certain number of free signs, like contract signings per month, I believe. Now let's go through like a typical week in my business and I'll let you know some of the tools I'm using that help me work more efficiently. So let's start out with my daily tasks. Some of these I've talked about in other videos, so I'm just gonna go through it pretty quickly so I'm not boring. All right, so of course the Google Workspace. I'm using this every day. I have a Gmail account, and then I try to get my inbox down to as close to zero as possible on Fridays, every Friday. I check my calendar for any upcoming appointments, as well as scheduling in some like big tasks for the day. And in my last video all about systems, I talked about how I organize my Google Drive with my client folders. So the thumbnail for that video looks like this if you wanna check out that video next. All right, and then a big part of my business organizational systems is Asana. So any projects I do are in Asana. And I have a dedicated video on how I use Asana and also some ideas of how you can use it, you know, to communicate with bookkeeping clients. It is pretty easy to add users in there and use it as a communication tool. So I think that would be a really great system. I have two contractors that work for me and we we use this on every day for like checklists and I use it to plan out my YouTube videos so I can just brainstorm a whole list of videos and then move them really easily into different months and change dates and stuff. So I really love Asana. So check that out. It is free. There's a free version and a paid version. Toggle is a really great one also for time tracking. If you haven't heard of Toggle, it makes it pretty easy to track and you can write like what your different tasks are. My virtual assistant uses this so that I am aware of kind of like what I'm spending money on within my business. Like where are we spending time doing the most things? LastPass or Keeper are also really key to help you store passwords for your business. So all that is not in your brain. All right, and then on a weekly basis, of course I am in QuickBooks Online. That is its own giant system, I'd say. And I have a lot of videos on how I organize like my bookkeeper tasks within like the week and what I do each week of the month, like when I send invoices and all that kind of thing. So check out that video if you're interested. ChatGPT is another good one that I'm just starting to utilize and kind of work into my systems. If I need to write something, then that is a good starting place to give me kind of like a base and then I can like wordsmith it from there. And then if I need to send a quick screen record 
with like instructions to a client, Loom is a really good choice. You can log in, record what you're doing, be like, this is where you need to go in QuickBooks to look up this thing, or this is how I need help with your bill pay, and then you can send it off to your client. And then my two monthly systems have to do with my website. So I host my website on Squarespace. I do updates on there about once a month, make sure everything is current. And then Canva as well. If you don't know what Canva is, you are missing out because it's a great way, free way to make tons of different different graphics and logos for your business. Even my 12 year old daughter has discovered Canva this year and she loves it. She just is thinking of all these different things she can create on Canva. Let me know in the comments what other systems you use for your bookkeeping business and let me know also what other videos you would like to see. Thanks for watching. Bye.